Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Corey, aka Mr. Manage, and today we have another mod for Xena, which is my Camaro. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the support, and again, we have another mod. So today, I'm going to be putting on something, as you see the title, something I think I should have done a while ago, but I have my reasons. Today, I'm going to be putting on uh, what they call a clean side separator. So for those of you, again, who have seen my videos, you know that I have oil catch can, the whole PCV system and all that stuff. So there is one part of the system that I didn't do anything to, which would have been done if you buy um, the Tracy Lewis oil catch can. That one's pretty expensive. I think it's like 300 plus dollars maybe. Um, I didn't do buy that because I plan on supercharging my car. At that point, I plan on supercharging it in the future. I will be supercharging it next year for sure. And the Tracy Lewis oil catch can comes with that. So I didn't want to pay $300 for a catch can that I was going to get with the supercharger anyways. Um, so. I just went with a cheaper one, a Billet Customs catch can, because any catch can is better than no catch can, if you guys don't know that. Um, just a quick rundown, oil catch cans catch all the vapors and separate the oil and clean air from the dirty side of your engine or the blow-by gases. Uh, it helps ventilate, it's called PCV systems, the positive crankcase ventilation. Um, all that excess blow-by gases that go past your pistons during the combustion cycle. Um, can build pressure in the crankcase so the PCV system evacuates it. It gets rerouted back into your intake and that is to get burned off. Um, that's bad for us Camaro owners because we're direct injected or anyone direct injected because that means that the gasoline is sprayed directly into the um, into the chamber and not into the actual uh, the, yeah the actual <laughs> Uh, combustion chamber and it's not being injected through the ports if it was injected through the ports that's kind of good because that gasoline is corrosive and it cleans the intake valves being that we're direct injected it's cool it creates more power but we don't get to clean our uh, the gasoline doesn't help clean our intake valves uh, so they can get gummed up and whatnot and decrease performance in the future so the oil catch can uh, without the oil catch can your PCV system reroutes that excess pressure and vapors with all that dirty air and stuff back into the intake to be reburned off so um, with an oil catch can that kind of baffles it and tries to separate the oils and all that nasty shit and only let clean air back into your engine. Man, that was a long process. Every time I explain it, that's a little tough. So sorry if that was hard to catch. Um, so today I got a clean side separator, which is going to take part on the clean side of the engine. So I got it from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Please do not ask me where the link is because it's in the description. Um, it comes with these two hoses. I had to buy these. Uh, the picture shows that it came with clamps, but it does not come with clamps. So I got these from AutoZone for like two bucks, and they are um, 5 sixteenths to 7 eighth inch adapters. And this is, I believe, one of these. The one I'm going to be using is 3 eighths fuel line, so it will work fine for me. So there's two different types of fuel line because I believe that this kit that they sell also works with a truck. Um, there is an adapter, so this is the main piece, this is the separator, which we can take out of the bag. Sorry guys, I don't I don't have my tripod, so it's a little tough. So this is what it looks like. So pretty much this oil cap that you see is going to split off into two pieces. This will actually get screwed into your engine, and then this guy literally just comes off and on whenever you need it to. This will get connected to one end of the hose, and we'll go to the clean side. And that's pretty much all it comes with and then an adapter if you have like a truck or something like that. So and it comes with a uh, cap for the clean side. So that's a cap. There's an adapter and obviously you'd use this too if you had the, a bigger truck or something like that. Or whatever. If you had to use one of these lines, one of them results in you having to use an adapter uh, to connect it to this guy. So we're not going to have an issue with that on a Camaro. So I'm just going to run over here and show you guys. This should be pretty quick. What we're going to be doing, we're pretty much going to take this off and get the light. We're going to take this cap off, which I will do right now for you. We're going to leave it off. Usually when I do my mods, I tell you to replace it. We're going to set this aside. So this is going to be the clean side. So your, your PCV system runs on this side. This is the dirty side or foul air side. This is the clean side because if that pr uh, crankcase pressure is ventilating now, it's kind of this creates a vacuum, right? So the intake, the air comes in through here, passes through this guy, which creates like a venturi effect, which constantly pulls a vacuum on that PCV valve over there, which is evacuating, you know, all that those gases from your intake. But I mean, from your crankcase, but how do you get air back into your crankcase. Think about it. 
This is going straight to the combustion chamber, this air that it's sucking in, and it's taking air out of your crankcase. So that air has to be replaced somewhere. Like you have to find a way to get air back into the crankcase so you don't suck and create a vacuum all the way in there. So they have the clean side, which is also on the intake. So while air is coming through here and going through there and pulling from here, air is also replenishing itself from this side of the engine through here, which creates kind of like a, a it keeps it equal. So you are always in a vacuum essentially to evacuate those gases. So what this does is this takes this off, goes back there, we're gonna cap it wherever that is, and then we're gonna put a tube from here to this side because this still also goes to the crankcase, which some people might not know that. Well, it's the difference. No, they're both on the valve cover, right? So that's on the valve cover and there goes that foul air back there, which is also on the valve cover. So we're gonna pull that off cap it so that way it's not giving any air losing any air and then we will put this here with the tube here and all that does is when you are on wide open throttle or if you ever read like an article and you see somebody says wot it's wide open throttle when you're in wide open throttle so when you're hauling ass the vacuum on your engine goes essentially to zero that being said if it goes essentially to zero and there's no vacuum sucking in the dirty side and forcing it to be replenished on the clean side oil can come back, those vapors can come back through the clean side. So oil catch can catch about 90 to 95% of that oil and you know clean it or that those vapors and clean it and give you back clean air but it's possible five to 10% you can get a possible five to 10% of that dirty air back into the intake via the clean side when you're at open throttle because the vacuum is at zero and the vapors can kind of do what they want. So all this does is when you are at wide open throttle and you're going and the oil is gonna come from this side, from this bottom side, it, there's a baffle in here and all it's gonna do is when this lets air out back into the intake, because it's at wide open throttle and there's no vacuum, it will catch all the oil in here, it'll baffle it and it won't let the oil, the vapors and the oil come through here. It'll let air come through here, just not the oil and shit. And then once you're done at wide open throttle, you get off of it and there's a vacuum restored, the oil will kind of sit in here and drain back into the, uh, into the engine. So I know that's a lot. I hope that makes sense. Um, sorry guys. I know it's a lot. I hope that makes sense. Um, it's, I always have a hard time. I try to my best to explain it, but it's like a lot to like record and explain this. So that's what we're gonna do. So again, we're simply gonna take this off, take this whole tube out, which for here, if you have a stock air intake, you literally just slide this off and it literally slides right off the back. So we're gonna do that first and then we'll go to the next step. All right, so you can see we removed it here. It went all the way back until this open guy right here that kind of swivels. Um, and just so you know, this is pretty big and the, the cap that comes with it is pretty small, but you can stretch it, all right? And some people would say on this, you don't need to put a clamp, but I will be putting a clamp anyways because I do not even want to risk this coming off and air being sucked into my engine from two different directions or whatnot or spitting out oil everywhere. So I'll put a cap over it. I'm gonna force it on there. You kind of go from like one end and you work your way on and she'll go on like that. And then I'll tighten this clamp and then we'll move on to the next step. All right guys, so that is put on with a clamp, turned to the back and it is tight, okay? So when the engine is running, that would create a, somewhat of a vacuum anyways, which is gonna be coming from this side so it's not gonna be trying to blow off. So I told you that these two pieces here are separated. So this is what I was talking about. That goes in like that and it literally comes apart. Now both, th this part that you see screwed in does come with the kit, just so you know. And when you're putting this in, it's gonna feel like it doesn't like wanna screw in at first. So that's what it looks like down there. It'll put it in and it's gonna like not wanna go. So you just give it a shove down until it stops and then give it a turn and it'll tighten up eventually. Um, I have discovered, which by working with it, I'm probably gonna have to leave my engine cover off as far as I know. Uh, someone else knows something different, please tell me, but if you look at this guy, it does not, there's like a little seal in here, which I actually removed this rubber seal uh, to see if I can get more room. But if I put this on first and then I throw the cover on top, I cannot get this on. It does not sit all the well and you definitely do want this to seat well because you do want to get a good seal. It's like right at the tip with this and the plastic. And then I tried to put the plastic down and then put this in afterwards and I was still having an issue with it sealing and whatnot. So I think that I'm probably just gonna leave it off. Um, I don't wanna risk putting my engine cover on and putting this on because of how hard it is to 
turn in and off I have no room to get my fingers in there so if you know one day I want to get my engine cover off it's going to be hard to get it off because I have nothing to unscrew this and it's going to be a pinch between these two so I'm just going to leave my engine cover off which is fine you're going to take this I don't know if you could see inside of it but this, this is like the baffle I was telling you about so like you see how there's holes in there so that traps essentially the uh, oil and stuff like that during a wide open throttle, it will trap the oil in here while clean air is still being fed out, just like that would do. Um, and then to the intake, while clean air is being fed to the intake, and then once you're at wide open throttle again, or off wide open throttle, back to idle um, throttle, it would go back to its vacuum and pushing air back into the uh, crankcase via this way. So, that being said, this does spin, that is okay. Once you get the uh, your uh, hose on there it's not going to make a difference so all you want to do now is measure a piece of hose from here to here and then cut it if you have um i use these uh plastic pc cover uh cutters uh, otherwise you could use like a sharp razor blade or something like that you're gonna cut it to length put two clamps and uh tighten it down and i'll show you what that looks like all right guys this is what your finished product will look like i will add a side note i did end up using the half inch line that came with it um, as well as the 3 8 inch fuel line from the 3 8 inch fuel line comes from the elite engineering of the clean side separator to this um, half inch line because it wouldn't fit around my intake and then the adapters in between here which I will not have a clamp on because these are barbed and it is pretty tight uh, I'm sure you could see it but it is a little hard to tell that there it's two different sizes so I did again half inch here, put the adapter in here, and then three eighths to three eighths. And this can move and that is fine. So that's pretty much what your finished product will look like. And that's should hopefully the goal is to stop 100% or 95% to 100% of the oil from getting into the intake. Um, this, if you ever need to put oil, literally just comes off and that base, like I said, stays in there. Then you just re-put it on like that and it's sealed. So pretty simple. And again, if I wasn't clear earlier, just to give you one more rundown, dirty sides over here, intake is drawing air, creating a vacuum, pulling it from the crankcase so that there's no crankcase buildup. Dirty air comes in here, gets baffled, comes back up through here. Clean air goes back in, and in order to replace that air so it's not a complete vacuum in the crankcase, the engine draws air from this side, being the clean side, which used to be back there, but now is where the oil cap is, into the crankcase through here, and that is the clean air that is being replenished, but when you're at wide open throttle, the vacuum in here goes to essentially zero, since, since there's no vacuum sucking air from there and forcing it to go in this way, oil and dirty vapors can come out through here, which was back there, could come out through that hole. So if it, now that that's capped, the only place it can come out is through here, but this is baffled. So now all those vapors will get separated, the oil will stay in here and the clean air would come back through here into the intake, so that way you don't have any residue on your throttle body. Man. Sorry that that took so long to uh, explain, guys. I apologize, I tried my best. Uh, this was around 100 bucks. I'm pretty sure I told you that. Again, link will be in the description. I definitely think it's worth it because at this point I'm eliminating as, I'm doing everything I can do to eliminate all the oil going in uh, to my intake, which can cause me problems down the road or it's gonna cause me maintenance down the road. So this mod is essentially for maintenance uh, purposes, for preventative maintenance, and again, I have the I did the drill mod, the PCB valve drill mod, which you can search my channel and find that, um, and that lets more oil out, so that way it's not getting clogged up, and that's a whole nother story. So this is the final part of my oil catch can system. I finally completed it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, don't forget that. We're growing, hopefully uh, gonna hit 400. That's the goal by the end of the year. And uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I know sometimes it's hard to understand me. I speak fast. Um, just drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you guys. Um, again, when I get supercharged, I'm gonna be getting the Tracy Lewis catch can with that. So all this is gonna go and I'm gonna be putting in his whole system in there, uh, which was designed for that kit. So um, again, thank you so much for watching. As usual, just gotta live in life and I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye. Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright